Prudential Insurance is really bringing a lot of things together and they're having a really good run. They had a couple bad years coming out of COVID, but now their revenues are on the rise, their profitability is on the rise. And boy, the company keeps getting looking more attractive every time I look at it. I just updated my analysis on Prudential and I wanted to share that with you. I want to value the company and decide whether I want to buy more shares, want to hold the shares that I currently own, or sell my shares in Prudential. I'm going to share my process with you as I go through and evaluating Prudential. It's the same process I use on all stocks of, of uh, typical companies. Do me a favor and like my video and subscribe to my channel. Also, provide comments on Prudential. Let me know what you think of the company. Let me know what you think of this video. Now, let's talk about Prudential. Prudential is a financial services company with uh, life insurance uh, services, also investment services, annuities, and things that people can buy for their retirement and for their older years. It's a very well-known company. They've been around forever. So it's a very well-known company. Revenues for Prudential have really gone up more than 31% if you compare the first six months of 2023 to the first six months of 2022. That's sizable growth. And it's across the board. They're, they're charging more fees to customers. Their investment income has really gone up. So it's really good to see the top line grow. They're also very profitable. Their cash flow has really jumped up. So a 41% increase from 2022 to 2023. So Prudential, I believe, is about 32% discounted. And what I mean by that is their stock is really worth about $125 per share, but the market will sell you shares at $95 per share, approximately. And I value it based on free cash flow, the book value, PE value, and earnings per share value. Just across the board, the company's doing well, and I expect that they're going to rise, their stock price is going to go up. They also pay a really nice high dividend. The stock price for Prudential in 2023 is down 4.6%, but it has had a pretty nice rise coming out of the midsummer into the fall period. They've had a nice rise. They also pay a really high dividend of over 5%. So should I put more of my hard-earned money into Prudential? First, do I want to be part owner in Prudential and do I like the industry? Yes, it's a stable industry. This is a very well-known company and they pay a really nice dividend. So I like being an investor in Prudential. And I think the company is really operated well. I like how they're growing their top line and they're really profitable. Balance sheets in great health. And it, they offer up a nice discount, especially combined with that real big uh, dividend. So therefore, I'm going to keep buying shares in Prudential. Prudential is more of a safe investment that's going to pay a really nice dividend. And it has some, some moderate upside. I like investments like that, especially in my income portfolio, where I can get that nice big dividend and see a modest rise in the stock price as well. Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. Do me a favor and like the video and subscribe to my channel. Also provide comments on Prudential and the video itself. With that, let me wish you the best of success in investing in 2023.